Um, so now is, it's time for our formal, uh, uh, the announcement of our endorsement of Judge De Janeiro. Uh, I have personal reasons for endorsing her. Uh, I've, I've, she has spent um, uh, a lot of time with local labor at many of our events. I'm also the chairman of the board of the uh, United Way of the Mahoning Valley, of Youngstown and the Mahoning Valley, and Mary has been to many of our events there. She has participated in just so many different things that we've done, but outside of labor, uh, I like, I appreciate her civic involvement. Uh, one time, one year I went to the Canfield Fair, Mary sits on the board of the uh, public library in Mahoning County, and all day long, every time I walked past the public library tent, uh, she was standing out there talking to people about the importance of the library. She's uh, taught at Youngstown State University. She served on many different boards, the board of the Salem Y. Uh, I'm not going to read her entire resume. It would take too long. We don't have that much time today. Um, but, but I've always been impressed. The, the thing that, that unions look for, we want fairness. We want honesty. We want people who are going to look at uh, every side of the issue and be impartial. We, we really want that. For, uh, and, and that's what we have found in Mary, a person who has a stellar career as an attorney, as a judge. She has a great record that we've examined closely. Uh, every group here has, has met with her and uh, uh, looked at, at the decisions she's made. And we know that with Mary, we will have a person who will represent the needs of our valley uh, on, on the bench. She, she covers a, a large territory. Uh, I think it's eight counties. And, and so, so, you know, we're, we're also, we, we've talked to representatives of labor in those other counties outside of our jurisdiction and found the same feelings for Mary and the same thoughts. And so, uh, uh, um, you know, we're, we're very proud to offer you the uh, uh, labor endorsement. So uh, I'd like to turn it over to Mike Aurelio to say a few words. Mike? Okay. <laughs> I'm Mike Aurelio. I know they... Uh told me, I don't know whether it was two or three minutes or 23 minutes, so we'll take it for this way. Uh, People are hungry. Yeah. Basically, I represent the uh, CMT UAW CAP Council. The CAP Council is a community action program. We're kind of unique in the way that we represent, there's four locals that belong to our CAP Council, Local 1112, Local 1714, we have 2901 which is uh, the Kmart local out of Warren, and we have uh, local 4199, which is Colford, which has uh, plants in Melbourne and Minerva. They used to have one in Salem, but it closed. But we also cover nine counties. We go down to Tusk, uh, Carroll, Jefferson, Harrison, Columbiana, Mahoning, and Trumbull. We've endorsed Judge Mary uh, in 2000 and 2006, she's never done anything to discredit us or uh, disservice the position that she holds. When we did our CAP screenings, we send out our questionnaires. We've answered the, she answered the in questions in uh, open and fairness. And to that, our entire CAP council and the state general boards of the uh, state of Ohio, Region 2B, CAP, also endorsed Judge Mary. Can I take it, you take it over? Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next, I'd like to uh, introduce Don Crane, uh, given his titles before. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that. Don, say a few words. Uh, I uh, represent, I'm president of the Western Reserve Building Trades. It represents about 5,000 construction workers, Columbia, and Mahoney, and Trumbull. Um, uh, in our line of work, being uh, of, uh, out of the top five most dangerous occupations, construction is one of those five. And so when our workers have to go into the court system um, to, to fight an unfair employer, we need to know that someone's going to be there um, to make sure that, uh, that, that our rights are, are, are met and upheld. And having a judge like Mary De Janeiro in the Court of Appeals is exactly the person that we need for that. And uh, that is why she has the endorsement of the Western Reserve Building Construction Trades Council. Thanks. Thanks, Don. And now uh, I, it's my pleasure to introduce Judge Mary De Janeiro. I want to thank all six labor organizations, their affiliates, and the men and women they represent for their endorsement and confidence that they have in me to continue to serve as a judge on the 7th District Court of Appeals. 
When I became a lawyer 25 years ago, I took an oath to protect and defend the Ohio and United States Constitution. And as a judge, I took another oath to fairly and impartially decide every case that comes before me and to preserve the independence and integrity of the judiciary. Over the past 12 years as judge, I've taken that duty seriously because experience, independent, and an honorable judiciary is indispensable to justice in our society, and it is so vital to preserve the democracy that the Founding Fathers entrusted to us to take care of and continue over 200 years ago. So again, it is both professionally gratifying and personally gratifying as well uh, to receive the endorsement uh, from all of these labor organizations. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd also like to recognize a marriage treasurer, attorney Ted Roberts, who many of us in labor deal with. We found Ted to be an honest and, and decent, fair guy. And so that, that's what we like, working with, uh, with uh, people that are, are, that are reasonable and that we can uh, uh, negotiate with fairly. Thank you. We appreciate your help with Mary. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank all the unions that are here. Um, you know, with, uh, with all of your support and, and you know, unions across the state, when I met with uh, Tim Berga from the state AFL-CIO, and he went over Mary's, uh, you know, record and, uh, you know, thoroughly questioned us about, about her, he was, he understood our support for her. And he said, this is what we need. You know, not only people in, 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 at the District Court of Appeals, Seventh uh, Circuit District Court of Appeals, but people on the state Supreme Court. We all know how, uh, how important it is to get impartial judges who will uh, serve the needs of the people in important seats like this. So we're, I'm really thankful that all the unions we're able to give her support to, to Mary. So thank you so much for coming.